Hey, what's up guys? Euclid Gamer back here with you again. And today, actually, we're going to be going back to an older video of mine, but one of my more well-known ones that I <laughs> was surprised became popular was the repair of the, uh, the basically the complete uh, removal and repair of the screen of a blue Vivo 5. And uh, not that that sounds scripted or anything, but uh, basically all we're going to be doing in this video is showing you how to replace, remove, and or replace the battery in the Blue Vivo 5, and uh, we'll be doing that now. Um, now, all you're going to be needing are some similar tools as the last time. Again, I'm going to preview this, um, and it's the 17-piece smartphone repair kit by Geeks in Gear, and it was really helpful with me. The only two head pieces you're going to need out of it is you're probably going to need these separator tools here. You're going to obviously be needing this, the little screwdriver piece, and then in the heads themselves, which just comes out, as you can see, you're going to be using the pieces in the back that are marked as the pH 100, pH um, 1000. It's pH double zero, pH triple zero. I don't know the technicality of what they're called, but there you go. There you go. See? So there'll be these two actual Phillips. We'll just call them the Phillips, the bigger and the smaller ones. So we'll go ahead and take those out. Other than those and some tape for when you put your screen back on, the new screen as I've shown you, um, that's all you'll need. If other things are needed, specifically request them and I promise I'll get to them a lot sooner. Um, just been really busy and honestly had to encourage myself to do this video because I didn't want to deal with it again and that's just me being honest with you guys because this is just free time. But so many of you guys asked for it and again I want to say I'm sorry that it took so long. It's just... I, you know, you guys, I, I put out a video and not many people were doing this and I was pretty much your guys only limb on showing it. So at the expense of this battered blue Vivo 5, we're going to go ahead and show you that it is in fact possible to remove and replace this cheap ass battery in this phone. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay. Looks familiar, don't it? The hands of prophecy and all that goodness. Now, with this phone, again, the screen on here is totaled, so don't be alarmed. And there's a couple of screws that aren't included in this right now that are, aren't actually in it when we're going to take them out, and that's because they got stripped. I have screwed with this stuff so much, just trying to figure out the odds and ins and outs of this phone, that that's basically, you know, um, it's the poor damn thing has been our, uh, our little uh, experiment. So, turning it over, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things for you. And obviously the screen, it's screwed. Take it off. But we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, digitizer and separating it. Now, I did this once before. I will do it again. I don't mind. So, with this right here, you have these two screws, okay? We'll go ahead and adjust that for you now. These two screws down here are very tiny. They're just right there at the end there. Of those two screwdrivers, use the PH. It's going to be the PH double zero, the CRV PH triple zero. And it's actually the smaller of the two. And you're going to take it and remove these two screws. Screwdriver should be magnetized, but regardless, we'll go ahead and take those. And that Amzer case I previewed in that last video, uh, it sucked. It didn't do the job. So, but again, I did encourage a lot of you to go ahead and find your own uh, screen your own uh, screen protector or your own case and uh, the fact that it didn't work good so if it had something bad happened to that screen of yours I'm sorry but budget phones is what we get with them so we go ahead and flip that off we can grab it I grabbed it the first go that's impressive and now this thing we just go and pop it off I wouldn't worry about keeping the piece get it out of the way now with these you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen about almost around twenty screws in this thing so with that, we're going to go ahead and remove those screws and we'll go ahead and zip right into it. And with that, I would recommend using the larger of the two. It's going to be the CRV PH00 screwdriver head. So just go ahead and pop that into your little thing there. It just comes out like so. Gotta love this little thing. And uh, we'll just go ahead and remove these screws now.
guys. Now, we're gonna get into the removal of this back case. Now, you've got a few spots in here that actually go behind it, and you can actually go ahead and simply lift up on that and separate it. That's all I did, it wasn't hard, because once these screws come out, you're gonna notice that this thin, like aluminum type like sheet of metal is going to kind of pop up and you can kind of grab onto it but I'll just use this and kind of lift don't be scared of this popping of these sounds here you want to get it up enough to where you can kind of get your tool under it and see that's already coming up there so it's really easy it came off easy for me so there you go this is what it looks like underneath okay this is your battery obviously and if you want to see what type it is and everything else, but I'll provide a link to the replacement in the description below. Lee Polymer Battery Model BLM3150. Maybe a newer version, but they're always going to be, when you're buying replacements for this kind of stuff, it's going to be third party. So, there are two things attached to this phone that you need to take off, or attached to the battery in the phone you need to take off, pop off, and that's these things right here. I'll go ahead and show you. So it's going to be this thing right here, and this thing right here. It's going to connect you to this motherboard, which right right here of the phone. So we'll go ahead and take our separator tool and lightly. There you go. Now it's off. And then the same thing here. Okay. See that? Now there's something I want to point out to you guys. This thing's gotten through some damage. On the motherboard, there's actually going to be six of these four little pins right here. Six of them. I only have four. Don't judge me. <laughs> I, uh... Had a little damage to it it just kind of popped off so just be careful doing that now you'll notice pulling on this is probably not a good idea and you're kind of thinking where the hell do i start and take this thing off i'll show you where i started separator tools probably should have premiered this at the beginning but i use this and i'll leave a link to the kit that i got this in as well in the description below now mine's already been separated for, so it's gonna give a little easier, but yours is gonna be a little bit more, let's say, intimidating. Now you can go underneath the motherboard right here, as you're gonna see here, that's right here, between this orange-like tape, and you're gonna hear that tape sound, that tearing. Well, as you go, I'm gonna just pretend it's still giving me hell like it was before. You're gonna kinda go under it, and you're gonna tear, and you're gonna tear, and you're gonna tear, and you're basically, you're just separating the batteries' adhesives from the, um, the case itself. So you're gonna keep doing that, okay? You're gonna keep going and I'm not trying to be annoying. You're gonna hear snap sounds. That's just the adhesive snapping off of itself letting being ripped off, but you're not breaking anything. This battery will work if it still needs to be used later. It looks like this underneath, but hopefully not like this. This is the adhesive right here. It's very sticky. That's the what was making the sound. And as you can see, this ribbon cable here, it goes down to the charge kit and everything else. That's just what connects to the battery. So there's your battery. Oh, you're just being stubborn. That's your battery. It's like a little gel layer. Lee Polymer gel battery. Never disassemble by yourself. See all these things right here? This is that last ditch effort that they tell you. So the only rule I would listen to there is uh, obviously number five, <laughs> number four, and... Uh, but the other ones disassemble by yourself. Bullshit. I'm too poor. That's why I did it. So, there we go. That's how you remove the battery. You simply will pretend this is a new one because this battery still works. You're going to replace it and you can place some kind of tape underneath according to where the ribbon cables are. Make sure you just place them on the black tape. Then replace it, obviously. And then take this and just kind of feel around for where it goes. Obviously, it connects to that little connector right there. Come on there. Connect it. And it snaps in. And then the same thing with this one that goes directly to the motherboard. It snaps in. And so, in all honesty, guys, it's that simple. You just do that. You put your plate back on. Your plate. Your plate. Put your plate back on. And then you go by whatever process you're comfortable with as far as epoxy or tape with the same process that was in my full video. I'm not making another video just dedicated to that because it would feel like a waste of your all's time. That's how you remove the battery. It is possible and it will work. I'll leave a link to a legitimate battery in the description below. Guys, that's my video. I hope it wasn't too long and I really am dearly sorry that, you know, sorry that it took so long to get this video out to you. But, as I've always said, I'm Euclid Gamer and I'll see you guys in the next video.